Attention, all passengers! This is a red alert! We have a Nintendo Direct on our hands! We have a Nintendo Direct on our hands! Pull up, pull up! We're gonna crash! We're gonna pass! No! Hey everyone, what's going on? My name's Chris, and um, you thought I was just gonna do a SpongeBob Let's Play? No, 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 no. <coughs> I don't know why that made me cough, but it did. Nintendo just had a direct today, and while I really wanted to do it, react to it live, I I've already watched it. I figured I'd make a video talking about it because. I heckin' love Nintendo, if you didn't know that already. Um, I like Nintendo a lot, and honestly, I thought for sure this Direct was gonna have nothing. I thought this was gonna be pretty much the Breath of the Wilds Direct, but we actually got a lot. Um, you know, I watched in an Arlo video yesterday, that, that little blue alien dude, Muppet man person, and he was talking about how, like, oh, it's, the Switch is probably in its twilight years because of, it's it's been out for seven years, which is a typical life cycle for, um, you know, a console, and Nintendo was already kind of cranked through all their series already, so, like, Breath of the Wild 2, kind of the last thing to really go up, and then it's probably on to the next thing, um, but... I was surprised to find that may not be the case because a lot came out. A lot was announced. And I figured I'd go through everything and um, kind of react to it, kind of just talk about it. And um, I'm excited to do that. So let's uh, let's go as Mario would say, haha. -ha. I actually just went through their videos here. Everything uploaded today. They typically upload all their biggest trailers. I'm missing some indie stuff. Not gonna lie, I typically don't really care too much about indie stuff. So, um, I, I'm, there's nothing really too much there I want to talk about, uh, but I will talk about the first thing really is Pikmin. It looks great, man. It actually looks beautiful. <laughs> I'm so happy for the Pikmin. I've never played Pikmin. I've watched people play it, um, and it actually looks really good. This game, you know, considering this is on the Switch, it actually looks pretty dang good. Which I feel like people say that a lot. It, you know, as much as the Switch gets like mocked for being like Garbo, it, it does pretty look. Look at this. This looks pretty nice. Look at that. that that's look, nice depth perception. But I really wanted to talk about. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen a couple of reactions of people play like that care about this game. Like, oh my god, Ice Pikmin! <laughs> Which is so funny to me because it's like, uh, you just, you know, if you get an ice weapon, let's say like the first time you get an ice weapon in a Zelda game, you're like, oh, cool, an ice weapon, that's pretty cool. But in, in Pikmin's like, oh my god, ice Pikmin, you can freeze it. <laughs> just, there's something so funny about that to me. Of course, we have Trublub here. Oh, he has no nose, poor guy. So there's dungeons, which is cool. Oh, it's this dude. Ew. Feels kind of Hollow Knighty in the dungeons. I mean, not really. It just similar. It feels like a similar vibe. Anyways, Pikmin Four. Nom, 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 nom. Oh my God! No! <laughs> That's so silly. So Pikmin Four action's really cool. I probably won't play it. I have a hard time. I have a hard time playing games enough as it is these days. And Pikmin's just one of those games like. If I were still playing as games as I did in my heyday when I was let's playing, uploading one or two videos every single day, um, I would probably play it, but I mean, I haven't. And I would also feel like I need to play the first three first, even though you obviously don't. But uh, that it looks great. It does look really cool. Um, next up is something I'm actually a little disappointed in. Splatoon, I was so excited for this. Like, oh my God, it's the, it's the Octo Spansion equivalent. And it's coming out, and I'm so excited. And it's not that at all. So the first part of the expansion pass, if I'm understanding correctly, maybe I'm just misunderstanding. Inkopolis, the hub from the first game. Inkopolis, make this splat-tastic place from the original Splatoon game your stomping ground. So it gives no information. It's like, make it your stomping ground. What does that mean? Does that mean you could just change hubs? If so, that's kind of a giant ripoff, man. Although, these these little characters are pretty adorable. Like, what the fuck is this thing? What is that? What is that? <laughs> oh my god. I hate him, but I also kind of like him. He looks like a trash bag, and he also kind of looks like an ass. Fred Crumbs. <laughs> 
So yeah, it's just so I I that's mind boggling to me. Like they, they this was the most low effort DLC imaginable that they're making you pay for. Yikes, dude! It's just it's just the switch. It's the hub switch. That's it. But of course. They did show this, which I'm guessing is the Octo Expansion equivalents in Splatoon 3. Which, I haven't completed the single player Splatoon 3 yet, so I should really get on that. Is this supposed to be Marina? This looks like a be Well, maybe not. Okay, it's the wrong skin tone, I think. Question mark. Where is it? That was her there, was it not? Is it No, it's not. Never mind. It's it's just an, it's just an, uh, an Octo. Okay, that's, yeah, that's clearly not her. All right. Expansion pass side order. So, oh, do you got to repaint the town? And this is the original hub too. Interesting. See, that's kind of like this. I'm more interested in. And it's all deserted, like the fish flying by. I thought Splatoon took place above the ocean, though. Or is this below the ocean, and the rest of the game is above the ocean? I don't know. That looks cool. I don't. I mean, it doesn't. Say, it doesn't say anything. But this kind of. <laughs> You gotta wait all the way till spring for a, a, a map they're importing from Splatoon 1 and updating the textures. Like, I don't want- this is a ripoff. This right here is a ripoff. What, like, what do you mean, dude? What do you mean? This, this should be a free update. Wave two, side no, okay, but it, it should at least, like, these should be combined. Unless there's more I'm just missing. I'm hoping there's more I'm, I'm not understanding, because, like, that's so lame, man. Yeah, that's it, that's it. What do people, what are people saying about this? Reading the comments, everyone seems to really like this actually, the, the Splatoon 1 map. Oh, Wave 1 feels rather underwhelming, but that side order, yeah, it doesn't feel rather underwhelming. It is underwhelming. It is actually terrible. Lily, I don't need an Inkopolis. I mean, that it's fine that it's there. It's just the fact that they expect people to pay for that. That is a ripoff, and I'm sorry, you should, you should not buy that. Um, but I mean, you probably have to, can I just buy a wave two? <laughs> it's probably like a, it's probably like a, a, a set deal, isn't it? Uh, all right. Next up is the Game Boy Advance and the Game Boy. I burst out laughing at this. Where is it? Where do they say it? Game Boy games are being added to Nintendo Switch Online. Uh huh. How often? Oh, sure. We're gonna get like a hundred of them in one go, right? Nintendo They're Game Boy Switch. Advance. They're Game Boy games. games. Anytime, anywhere. Just True. Like back in the day. Wow, that's a very good point. I can't wait to play one hundred of the them. Games that will be available at launch. Tetris. Tetris. Wow. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's fine. I won't be a Tetris hater. Never, I don't know anything about this game. I don't think I've ever seen a screenshot of it. That's probably true. I probably have. Cool. Wait, what's DX? What does the DX part mean? That's a backwards XD. Silly Nintendo. <laughs> that is a horrible sprite. I've never seen this game. Okay, you know what? They did. They are actually throwing a lot in here. Metroid 2. Float inhale. Metroid curbs. You could switch colors. That's nice, and you know, kind of the bare minimum, but sure. Yeah, I guess taking out the bare minimum, but not crazy. Not crazy. Game Boy Advance. This was the first handheld I ever owned, and god dang, did I love this thing. Now this is nice. I'm really happy they're doing online keep Nintendo is the kind of company that I would not be surprised at all if they didn't do that. Why? Oh, it was like, why is Bowser green? It's because he has a star. Here's the part I was excited about. Golden Sun! My baby! This Golden Sun was the very first game I ever owned as a kid. And god dang, am I happy to see it. I wish it was um, also the second one. But hey, we'll take this. We'll take this. Oh, I may have just been really stupid. I swear when I watch the direct, unless the direct copy is different, I swear they said they'll be adding one every three months or something like that. I swear I heard them say something like that, and I burst out laughing. Do I have amnesia? What happened? I'm going to find that in the direct because I need to know. What, how did I misconstrue that? Huh. So I guess I was just wrong. I just watched the actual direct part. And yeah, they don't mention anything about them adding one game every three months. I don't know how I could have possibly misheard that, but apparently I did. So no, this is actually pretty cool. Um, 
a little late i don't know why nintendo uh is waiting so long to to do like all this for their switch like the, the, their central virtual shop i don't know why it'd save them seven years to add game boy games um a little disappointing but also i've i've said this theory many times i honestly believe the next nintendo consoles gimmick because they're not going to veer away from the switch you know the switch is such a hit there's no way they would go back to this a normal console like the wii or whatever there's it has to be a portable system again there's no way they won't do that i think the the, the gimmick of the next system will be you will be able to play all nintendo games on it they'll all be available from launch and you could have like a nintendo account and you have to rebuy everything and all that um that is honestly uh, that is my theory on what the next gimmick is going to be for the next console which should be um probably announced sometime this year or early next year would be my guess next up metroid this came out of nowhere i'm a very <laughs> i'm about as casual of a fan of metroid as you can get I got my first Metroid game I ever got was Metroid Prime 3 for the um for the uh for the the Wii and I actually didn't enjoy it. I got lost and I gave up. Um about a couple hours into the game and I couldn't find where to go. I kept I don't know if I was failing a jump. I remember there's like a gap I couldn't get over or something and I just couldn't figure it out. Um and then I finally played uh, uh what was the one that just came out on Switch not too long ago? I played that. I really enjoyed it. That was fantastic. This is uh, I would would not mind playing this at all, and the fact this 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 is coming out right now. This is out today. I'm sure Metroid fans are shitting themselves because that's pretty awesome. I hope this game does really well. Uh, Metroid's one of the very rare, somewhat mature Nintendo games, so um, you know we need more of those. So I'm really happy to uh, see this, and um, you know people are saying like, oh, it should have been the whole trilogy. Hopefully, this sells well enough that they do that. That's I mean, honestly. It's probably going to do fine. And, um... Did the new game do actually really good as well? I think it did. So, it's like... I'm sure this should do pretty well, too. Because this looks pretty damn good, man. So, I'm sure this will do great. And I'm sure they'll, <laughs> they'll spend their time releasing the other two. Mario Kart! Wave 4 is racing in. Wow! Okay. What is... Yoshi's Island, where's this course from? I don't think I've ever played this course. But it looks sick! You go through... Well, this is like fall. This looks like spring. I thought this was winter, but this looks more like clouds. You go over a volcano? Like, holy shit, dude. This looks awesome. And the specialized graphics? Like, wow, looks great. A brand new course is zooming into wave Whoa! Mario Kart we don't see the rest of the DLC. courses, though, do we? Birdo! Birdo! That was surprising. I'm surprised I'm surprised they're adding more characters, but you know it's fine. Oh, those are item blocks. The volcano doesn't look like it explodes. Wait. That's not it, is it? It courses to be released over six waves. Okay. Interesting they only show the one. Which probably means there will be another direct before this comes out. Uh, probably not. Maybe it'll just be a trailer. But... I'm excited. I really enjoy Mario Kart. I'm, I'm very excited for the um for the next wave to come out. Did not expect why it's kinda of weird they added Birdo. Not very not a super popular character to begin with, so the fact that they're adding here is just kinda of like cool. Uh unexpected, but cool, I guess. <laughs> and finally, the last thing I want to talk about. Breath of the Wild 2, Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, dude, I was so excited to watch this. Immediately, things are different. Like, this is coming up from, like, one of the shrines. Like, what? what is this little springy sprongly? We, we saw the springly sprongly's coming up from, like, in the first trailer. Like, the little hand thing, you know, that was over Ganon. New enemy. First thing they show is new enemy. That's nice. It looks like a Bokoblin with wings a little bit. You know, a yellow Bokoblin with wings. And look, these are the towers. So it's like, things are different. I'm very curious how this game is going to be. Um, in terms of, like, you're exploring the same world. And that's kind of, you know, there's nothing. It's going to feel like there's not a whole lot new to explore. Besides the floating islands. So hopefully they do enough to make a different. I'm a bit worried about that. 
This is cool. I, at first, I noticed these things are like on fire. They have like a blue, like a red flame. There's also blue flames over here. Um, it's also nice and snow. Very good ambience. Uh, I think this is like blood moon related. I'm guessing it's like supercharged with like blood um, moon magic or some crap. I don't know. This also maybe looks like a stone talus. Rise, rise, my son. I didn't notice this the first time. This right here is a fucking dragon. A three-headed dragon. Oh my god. I'm, I'm, what is this? The, the Hylian Bridge? No, Lake Hylian Bridge? What is it? I forget what it's called. But I, you know, I just, I remember this bridge in the first game. And that three-headed dragon, I think that's in the original Zelda, right? I don't remember its name, but oh my god it looks sick it looks amazing that oh so i'm trying a dragon on a bridge that thing's gonna be so cool to fight oh my god once again over the temple here the 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 magic coming out. i was gonna say the black magic but that's not black magic that's just like squiggly squaggles eliminate this kingdom so this is matt mercer which is a very famous voice actor I'm a little torn on him as Ganon voice actor, but he does really good coming up here in a second. Leave no survivors. That that's a leave no survivor. He does outline very well. So the blood moon itself shoots these down, it looks like. Um maybe a lava stone talus thingy. So I paused this video a bunch looking for new enemies and there actually are a few. First of all, all the Bacalbas and stuff, they have these like, they have like weapons coming out of their heads. I don't know what that's about. That's so strange. One thing I missed though, the first time through, check this guy. This is a new enemy right here. Look at his face. Like he has like a weird tail thing. He has like mandible mouth. And he has like a skeleton body. Like what is this thing? I don't know if this is a new enemy completely, if it's something we've known in the past. This, no, this is a, this is a Moblin, but it has like a helmet on. Yeah. Yeah, it looks a little silly. It looked cool with that, just the helmet though. I thought like it was like one of those dinosaurs with the spiky heads, but nope. <laughs> Curious what that's gonna be. This dude looks cool. I'm guessing he summons and rallies troops and stuff. And yeah, look, they all have like the little, they all have like headgear, which is, they have weapons coming out of their brains, which is, Weird, I wonder why that is, but this guy's cool. I like his war horn as well. Cool. What do you have on around your neck, Mr. Sir? Oh, that's a new enemy right there too. Is that the same dude as this guy or not? <laughs> that might be the same as this guy. Yeah, it is. What do you have? That looks like a, like a stamina fruit almost from um, Skyward Sword. That's gotta be something. That's gotta be something special though. See, it's like, you look at this, it's like, okay, yeah, I, like, I remember this, like, weird stone tree forest thing, like, this does just kind of look like the Breath of the Wild world, which is cool, but hopefully there's enough new shit. The enemy, the bird thing's flying in enemies, that's cool. Let's go back over here. This guy looks alright, I'm not gonna lie, I don't like these kind of, like, it's like stone taluses and stuff like that. The stone talus is fine, but, like, something about, like, these kind of enemies, I just, I've never really vied with. Nintendo does a lot of these kind of, like, giant mechanical machine monster things, and I've never cared for them very much. Cool Ganon shot. But Link, I'm not sure you'll be able to stop him. Ba -ba -ba. Like some Nazca lines over here. That looks cool as hell. Oh, is that a good bird? This arrow locks on and, and goes to him, which is really cool. It's like a light arrow or almost or something. Some gr some grinding rail action. Stone talus. I'm so curious of what the hell this is. This looks like this. This reminds me a lot. So Breath of the Wild feels very Studio Ghibli, right? So I'll go back over this in a second, because that's Link's arm, but he's like cursed or something. I think he's cursed. Like in the first trailer, we see the hand grabbing Ganon, right? So I'm guessing somehow they break the, the seal on him and the curse transfers over to Link. And yeah, like he has magic hands now. <laughs> this is a stu- this looks so stupid. <laughs> I'm down for it, but <laughs> like we can acknowledge this looks stupid, right? <laughs> what are these, dude? Being able to fly is cool, even though it, it looks out of place for Zelda. Look in here, like, what is this bulbous thing? I don't know. This looks cool as well. Like, yeah, this almost looks like um, Skyloft and 
um, Skyward Sword with the giant statue. Like squares. And you see shit falling from the skies as well. Like, there is a decent amount in the sky, but there is a lot of blank space as well. I'm not going to lie. But, it, like, it, there, there's at least a, there's a decent amount of stuff in the sky, which I'm very happy about. The backgrounds music. Cool. Oh, that's moving. So that's coming off of Ganon. I, I had to slow down a bit. Yeah, you see it coming off of Ganon's corpse. So, this is what I... This reminds me so much of Princess Mononoke. Um, which is a Studio Ghibli movie. If you never watched it, I... Oh, people are already comparing it, actually. Um, I'm, I, I just googled Princess Mononoke um, Ashitaka Arm, which is the main character from it. Here, I'll, even, I'll just bring this on screen. Um, not really any spoilers. Uh, the beginning of the movie, the whole point of the movie is, like, he gets... He, like, a boar has, like, these tendrils on it that look very similar to this, by the way. And, like, it grabs his arm and it curses him. And it, like... Yeah, it looks like this. And, and, and slowly, as the movie goes on, the curse, like, consumes him. And, yeah, people are already comparing it. <laughs> Uh, when was this posted? I'm actually curious. Two years ago. Okay, so people have been on this for a while. So I'm very curious if this is, like, directly inspired. If this kind of gives away what maybe the plot is. I'm very curious, though, if this curse is going to slowly go up a Link's arm and consume him as the game goes on. Then, obviously, at the end of the game, you, like, fix it or whatever. Like, look here. You can... Wait. Please. You can see it. Like, you can see him all burnt up and stuff. Look at it. Look at him. Okay, it was actually a bit better here. Lend him your power. Like, if we go back here, I'm guessing this happens right after he un breaks the curse. Because look, at it, it's like his clothes are all messed up. Like, his arms all burnt and stuff. Like, this looks, like, <laughs> pretty damn close to, to uh, Princess Mononoke. So, it's, it's I'm very curious to see how this plays out. Yeah, you can see it. And it's, like, farther down his arm in some of these previews. Like, here. Yeah, look at this. Here it's like on his on his back and stuff and going down like you know it, it's moving up his his body. Here, you know, it seems to stop at around like this area. So it, it's very interesting. Please lend him your power. Yeah, see his his shirt's all ripped up. So yeah, that's that's gotta be what that is. May 12th, I'm so excited, man. I'm so excited. Ugh. Ugh. <sighs> Anyways, I, you know, I'm happy I was wrong. There was actually quite a lot in this direct that was actually pretty dang cool. What do you guys think of the direct? Like, I, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. I had a really good time watching it, and I'm happy it, it's, it's, Nintendo's going strong. I'm very happy about that. Um, yeah, leave a comment down below. Let's, let's talk about it. I'll, I'll reply to your comments. If you don't know, I stream on Twitch every Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And, oh, you know what? I noticed this at the beginning, but I forgot to move it. Uh, coins, if you're wondering what the hell that is, um, I do a game show, essentially, and it, you can earn coins by just, just doing things with the community. You know, at the beginning of my streams and all that, like, I, I do things that you can play games to, to earn coins and stuff. It's really fun. It's, it's really fun. Like, it's, it's like points for a game or something. It, it's really fun. Um... But yeah, please let me know what you guys think of the direct. What are you excited for? What are people not talking enough about? Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think um, because uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I think this is a great direct, and I'm excited. I'm excited for Breath of the Wild. That's only a few months away. Oh, also, we haven't even gotten that much. It was so close. Normally at this point, we got like full on directs dedicated to the games and like they do like a whole like all right guys we're gonna play the game for the next two hours and you guys can watch and see what that's all about and it's like i'm not gonna not watch that but i kind of wish they stopped doing that because i like it when um uh, like the less you know going to a game you already know you're gonna buy everyone's like I, like if you like zelda you're gonna get this game like who doesn't know about zelda um the less they tell us about, the better, because, like, the more blind we go into it, the more exciting it's going to be. And I really hope they're going to release more stuff. And I just kind of hope they don't do, like, a whole dedicated director. We don't need it. We don't. We don't need it. But, hey, we'll probably get it. But we'll have to see. <laughs> but, yes, anyways, thanks for watching, everyone. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you've been enjoying the SpongeBob Let's Play. I honestly don't know what the crossover between SpongeBob Let's Play and um, Nintendo Direct is. Uh, but I guess, hey, maybe we'll see. Um, if you watch both those, let me know. <laughs> Uh, but yes, thank you so much for watching. Everyone. I greatly appreciate you guys. Have a fantastic night and see you tomorrow for the next SpongeBob SquarePants. Let's play you. Bye!